Charles, I would like to hear your thoughts on the future of smartphone software. Will we see non-proprietary OSs becoming popular? It would be good if we had a Linux of smartphone. Well, Adam, technically, technically, Android is a Linux project. You know, it is technically open source, which is why many people use it. But I, I hear you. I feel you. It doesn't feel that way when ultimately there are gatekeepers who control the experience and what can be on it. Um, and this is the perpetual frustration of open source. And this is the, perpetu uh, the perpetual dis uh, frustration of centralization. If 99% of your ecosystem is open source, but 1% isn't, or it's somehow curated and controlled, and that 1% happens to be the skeleton key or the gatekeeper for how people use the other 99%, you're not actually open source. This is why I hate uh, projects that claim to be cryptocurrencies, but then patent things. Because one guy, one group of people, ultimately has a legal monopoly on who gets to use it, and they act as a curator. Even if they don't choose to use that, they have the right to do so. And that really hurts Fortune 500 and government adoption. Um, actually, cross comparison of cryptographic algorithms, you look at Entru, and this lattice-based crypto, compared to their open source equivalents, People always seem to pick the open source patent free versus the patented, I, um, especially in the 2000s. So I would like to see more progress made in an open ecosystem. It's bizarre that so few companies, Apple, Google, Microsoft, have such a strong say on what goes on your phone and the business models you're allowed to deploy. Uh, I can install pretty much anything I want on Windows or Linux. But then when it goes to Google phones, uh, so Android phones, and it goes to Apple phones, it's curated at the core. Now, that curation has benefits. It uh, has allowed mass market adoption. There are billions of users of smartphones all around the planet. Smartphones are the dominant business model well and beyond anything the PC has achieved. So it seems like that curation is socially acceptable, but it has the consequences of transfer of mass wholesale transfer of power to the few. I would like to see an open phone. There's been a lot of projects that have attempted this. Uh, there's been a lot of people trying to create diversity in the phone space. Uh, people have ported Ubuntu to the phone. There have been people to try to build varieties like Silent Circle. Uh, there are OSs, uh, for example, Copperhead OS, um, these types of things that exist. And I've kind of followed along, and I know all the guys, they, you know, we run into each other every few years at different cryptographic or security conferences, and they always try to tell me this is the year that people are going to pay attention and wake up. A Libre phone is an example of that. It even has little hardware switches on it uh, that allows you to uh, to you know, like turn off the camera and turn off the microphone and other things with a hardware disconnect so it can't be hacked into. And unfortunately, that whole industry is just not where it needs to be. Uh, so it is what it is, and. Uh, we wish the best, but that's a problem I can't solve. Um, I'd like to because Cardano has to run on infrastructure. And if it's running on proprietary or curated infrastructure, actually, it means it's a cat and mouse game where either you allow all the features of Cardano or whatever gets deployed on that proprietary platform has to be in some way sanitized, as we've seen with MetaMask, for example, and some of the decisions they've made recently.